Well, well, well. I got two packages just today. Then that box. So I'm going to set y'all up and we're going to see what's in them. Well, I already know what's in them, but I'm going to let y'all see what's in them. So, all right. I'll turn y'all around and then. All right. Get y'all properly positioned the way and see what's going on. All right. Let's see what's in this big box. Got a whole bunch of paper. All right. First thing up. Yep, I got another set of headlight lens compartment. The lens and the compartment for my Craftsman GT. I'm going to be using this in a video to uh, show you how to properly remove this lens from the black part. So it makes it easier. I'm going to also be checking out to see how dull this reflective part is up under here. But I can already tell one of these bulbs is bowed out. But like I said, that's that. Alright. Now. This is a S E F A S P E one ten step welder. And thank you, uh, Renegade Garage for sending it to me. That's the front, that's the back. Fun part is going to be learning how to weld. Yes, I'm visually impaired. I have what they call my stagnus. But sometimes in life you got to just prove yourself to be able to do things that normally people say you shouldn't do even with a visual impairment. And, well, luckily I found which wire goes in which of these uh, holes. Only thing is, learning what this knob does, you know, because it has a little LED display. But once again, I said thank, thank you to uh, Renegade Garage on YouTube at now. Well, let's say the Renegade Garage on YouTube for sending this to me. Nice little welder. It's not the expensive welder like you normally see, but you know, set that aside. You know, set it up and sit in my lap. Now, there's the two leads. This is the part you put the sticks in with welding. Yep. Let's see. Make sure I'm reading this right because I took them out to, you know, whatever. You know. Alright. This particular one goes in this hole. Twist it and lock it. Then we have the ground lead. And it goes in this particular hole. Put it in. Gotta get it in just right. We twist and lock. Now the thing is, I'm gonna probably have to look this up or talk to Renegade Garage and see about the owner's manual for it, so it tells me exactly how to use this properly because I don't want to use this thing and end up messing it up. Like I said, you know, it's not a little machine. It's not the professional stuff. You know, it's more, more over home, homeowner grade stuff. To use this thing all day, every day for welding, yeah. It probably won't last long, but thank you to Renegade Ross for sending me this. 
at, you know, let's say it is 110 volt. Now I'll set that down and prove that it's 110 volt. There's the plug. That said, you know, I'm getting older and starting to learn things in life that normally I should have been learned a long time ago when I was younger. Well, it is what it is, but, you know. But that is that. So, y'all have a nice day and see y'all later. Bye.